Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top order in trading with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about Euro USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment we have a market which is testing a quite strong historical support and demand area for this market. In fact, starting from here, multiple rejections to the upside have been created every single time exactly away from this same level of historical support and demand. We can see here how just a few months ago, the market once again tested the area, rejected it to the upside. And at the moment, the market just went once again for another test of the same level of support and demand has already started rejecting it to the upside. So in a situation like this, we could expect more bullish price action to be created away from this level. If we look closer at the price action and structure that the market has been creating lately, we can also notice how we just had the creation of this inverted head and shoulders here from a monthly standpoint. We can notice in fact how we have the left shoulder here, the head here, and the right shoulder being created exactly at this zone. And in a situation like this, from the support and demand, there is definitely the possibility to see a potential push higher. At that point, if we look at the pattern, we can also notice how if we get a rejection to the upside away from this area, we would essentially have the completion of this monthly impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. And in general, after an impulse and correction, if you want to measure the correction itself, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how we have the 0.618 and 0.786 Fibonacci retracements lining up exactly at this zone, therefore creating a confluence of support at this area, which we could in fact expect this market to potentially reject to the upside. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, from a weekly standpoint, we can identify some quite important structure being created also at this area. In fact, this zone was acting as previous weekly resistance here, preceding this rejection to the downside. Then the market broke above the zone and that previous resistance was turned support. Again, this area acted as support here, started rejecting it to the upside. So from here, more bullish continuation could be created away from this area. It is also important to keep in mind that since all this zone is a confluence of support, as we have already identified by looking at this market on the monthly time frame, there is an increased probabilities that since we are inside of a confluence of support, we could see more institutional longing inside of the support area, which at that point would further increase the probabilities of a potential push higher away from this level. And we will be speaking about institutional longing in just a few minutes when we move to the analysis of the order flow for this pair. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Now, from a daily perspective, I have spoken about EURUSD quite a few times in the past. I spoke about it when the market was around this area. From here, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect first the creation of this move to the downside and then from here the continuation to the upside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market gave us. And by the way, I will link in description those two previous analysis so you can go and check them out for more free education. However, at the moment, what do we have? Well, at the moment, the market is creating a new structure. In fact, in printing this move to the downside, we are essentially getting the creation 
of this daily M pattern. And in general, after the creation of an M pattern, what you would expect is for the market to create a rejection to the upside, at least for the completion of the M pattern at the neckline. So if the market here will continue lower, at that point, there is definitely the possibility to see more institutional longing inside of that confluence of support and at that point to get a potential rejection higher, completing this M pattern here on the daily time frame and rejecting that confluence of support that we have all across this area, as we have already identified on the monthly time frame. Now, before we continue with the analysis, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders. So the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing precisely on the euro. Now, the first thing that we have to keep in mind is that if we're checking the data for the euro, we're actually already checking euro USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. And what we can see is that with the last report, net positions have once again started increasing. Institutions went from having 52.8k longs up to 68k, sorry, 52.8k net positions up to 68k net positions with 24 almost K longs added with the last report and 12.8 K shorts getting closed. So essentially what happened is that with the last report, institutions have increased their net positions by adding longs and closing shorts. In fact, at the moment, institutions are sitting with 213K longs compared to only 145K shorts. So clearly institutions have started moving once again back to the bullish side for EURUSD, increasing their longs, so adding longs and closing shorts. This is obviously bullish for EURUSD because institutions longing EURUSD inside of a confluence of support area with the daily M pattern that we have just created, it creates a sort of environment for your USD in which we have a higher probability of getting a potential completion of that daily M pattern. And by the way, make sure to also join my free Telegram channel, which you find here on the screen and also linked in description, so you never miss new updates. Now, back to the analysis. Here from a daily perspective, as I was saying, if the market will create this M pattern, we definitely have the possibility at that point to get more institutional longing, which would further increase the probabilities of a potential push higher away from this area. So if we have the creation of this M pattern, what I would expect in a situation like this? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to an intraday bullish market during this move to the downside, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential push higher, completing this M pattern at the neckline. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here, you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that Directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.